626, welcome back. Mm -hmm. Many people are wondering how meteorologists forecast hurricanes when it can be hard to gather data. Yeah, not all of it, but a lot of it is thanks to the NOAA hurricane hunters who risk their lives to bring the public accurate information about these weather events by literally flying right into them. Just take a look at this video release from the hurricane hunters flying into Category 5 Hurricane Milton. I mean, you can barely see anything. They stay calm, as you see, even through extreme turbulence. The, uh, NOAA says the hunter's primary mission is to find the center of the storm and then take the measurements there. I mean, pretty rocky ride here. I, I can't say I would be able to stay calm. Look at that. Goodness gracious. They normally get about 48 hours of notice before a flight. And we want you to truly understand the magnitude. Oh, my goodness. This is making me nervous. Wow. Stuff moving all around there on that flight. But yeah, we want you to truly understand the magnitude of a storm like Milton and see exactly what the hunters are flying into. Just look at these videos showing the size of the storm taken by astronauts at the ISS. Now, considering how dangerous this job is, we've got meteorologist Peyton Malone to just walk us through what they're doing here. So there, it's a crucial that we have this data from the hurricane. Mm -hmm. There's two units. So you have the Air Force, which is based out of Keesler right here. Mm -hmm. okay. They're the ones who fly the big big C-130s that you see often around mm -hmm. here. And then you have a unit out of Tampa, mm -hmm. uh, Lakeland around Tampa that fly into it as well. So between mm -hmm. the two, you always have like two planes flying in these things. Wow. These planes are equipped with so many sensors and they drop drop sons okay. out of them. So question. when they're flying through the eye, they will drop a literally something that drops to the ocean floor and mm -hmm. measures the wind speed, the relative humidity, and the pressure. And so this is how we actually know the exact measurements of the hurricane. Wow. We're not really guessing when we have their data. We truly know how strong the storm is. They plug all this data into the models and the models mm -hmm. run better. They also have a radar on these planes yeah. that they plug that radar data into the models so the models are initializing correctly. So that's why wow. their information is so important to get mm -hmm. the forecast correct. And yeah. once that drops down to the ocean floor, mm -hmm. is that uh, measurement taken during that Yeah, all that the way journey? down. All the way down. Once it drops, that's it? And then there's measurements. Yeah, that's it. And then okay. it's done. There are also um, devices on the plane that measure as well mm -hmm. uh, the wind, the rain, those types of things. So all that information is crucial. I just can't even imagine trying to drive in that and you can't even see. Her. That's what I wanted to get at real quick. I mean, you often hear that they fly above the storm, but you can see there that one they can't see, but they're also still affected by wind. So they're not technically above the oh, storm. No, no, they're, they're in the thick in of it. it. They're at about 7,000 feet in the oh storm. The gosh. storms go fit. So they fly at a constant pressure level. So they actually are descending when they're flying into a strong hurricane. Mm -hmm. uh, the lower the pressure, they'll fly at that constant pressure just to keep things uh, accurate with our data, but they will be descending into the eye of the storm. And yesterday the eye was so small, mm -hmm. it took them 30 seconds roughly to go from one side of the eye to oh, the wow. other. That's how small of a hurricane this was. So, oh my yeah. goodness. It is amazing what they do. And truly, I and mean, heroes for hurricane mm -hmm. yeah. forecasting. Mm -hmm. Wow. Thank you for explaining that for us. Yes, thank you with that. Appreciate